In this illustration, we intend to simulate the impact of the bottle full of water with the ground and the abacus software. The bottle is made of high density polyethylene and the elastic plastic and damage properties have been defined for the polyethylene bottle. In this example, water has been muddled using Eulerian method and the floor part has been muddled as the rigid part. As you observe in this picture, the water bottle impacts on the ground at an angle of 20 degrees. In this example, the water bottle is dropped from a height of 300 millimeters. So the initial velocity of the bottle on impact is 2,444 millimeters per second. As it is observed in this picture, when the water bottle hits the ground, the bottle cap separates from the bottle and it moves freely. Also, the bottle is deformed to some extent in this picture. You observe the formation of water flow as well as the sloshing of water. In the next picture, water has gushed out of the bottle at the end of the analysis. Here, first I intend to create geometric shape of the bottle, but since the geometry of the bottle is complex and difficult to draw in the Abacus software, I'll use a ready file and enter the geometric shape having already been prepared into the Abacus software. To do so, I will click on File menu, then select Import and Part, I'll select file of bottle.sat and OK. Here I'll select 3D and deformable and OK. As you observe, the geometric shape of bottle entered the abacus. First, I'll click on Remove face, select this face, done, and yes, in this manner. As it can be observed here, the geometric shape of bottle is particular and rather complicated, and tracing that in the Abacus software is difficult. So, we had to use a ready file. In the next step, I intend to create geometric shape of water. To do so, I'll click on File menu, Import and Part, then select File of Water.sat and OK. Here, I'll select 3D and Deformable and OK. Here, you can observe the initial geometric shape of water. In the next step, I'll click on Create Part. Here I intend to create Eulerian Part. Here I select 3D Eulerian. Enter the rough size of the tracing page equal to 500 and continue. I'll draw a rectangle. Enter its length equal to 300 millimeters, its width equal to 300 millimeters. Done. Enter its depth equal to 250 millimeters in this manner. In the next step, I'll click on Create Part. Here I intend to create geometric shape of floor. Here I'll select discrete rigid, then shell and planner, 
and continue I'll draw a rectangle and enter its length and width equal to 600 millimeters and click on done since the floor part has been modeled in rigid form uh, we should define a reference point for it to do so I will click on tools menu then select reference point and select this point as the reference point of floor in the next step I'll click on create part here I intend to create the bottle cap I'll select 3d deformable from here select shell and revolution enter the rough size of the tracing page equal to 100 and continue I'll draw a horizontal and vertical line like this enter the size of the horizontal line equal to 15.65 millimeters and enter the size of the vertical line equal to 7.75 millimeters then click on done and enter the rotation angle equal to 360 degrees in this manner so our parts include bottle Eulerian part water the bottle cap and floor in the next step uh, I'll enter property module click on create material here I intend to define the properties of water I'll select density from general menu the density of water is equal to 1000 kilograms per cubic meter that is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9 tons per cubic millimeter in the next step I'll click on mechanical menu then select EOS or the same equation of state from here I'll select USUP the speed of sound in the water is equal to 1450 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 millimeters per second I'll enter the parameters S and gamma 0 equal to 0 in the next step I'll click on mechanical menu and then viscosity the dynamic viscosity of water is equal to 0 0.001 Pascal second that is 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9 mega Pascal second I'll click on OK in the next step I'll click on create material as explained in the article the bottle is made of high density polyethylene the properties of which have been defined here I'll select density from general menu the density of polyethylene is equal to 8.76 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 10 tons per cubic millimeter then I'll select elasticity and elastic from mechanical menu the young modulus of polyethylene is equal to 903 point 114 megapascal the Poisson rate is equal to 0 0.39 in the next step I'll select plasticity and plastic from mechanical menu
and you can observe the plastic properties of polyethylene in this table. Here the initial yield stress is equal to 8.618 megapascal and these properties have also been mentioned in the Excel file. I'll select these two columns, copy and paste in the Abacus software. In this question, the properties of damage have also been defined for polyethylene and for which we will use ductile damage. To do so, I'll select damage for ductile metal from mechanical menu and after that, select ductile damage. I'll enter strain fracture equal to 0 0.59 and the stress triaxility and strain rate equal to zero. Then click on sub option and damage evolution. Enter displacement at failure equal to zero and OK. In such a manner, the damage occurs in the strain of 0 0.59 and OK. I will click on create section. From here, select solid and Eulerian. Continue here, select water and OK. Then I'll click on assign section and OK. I will click on create section. Here select shell and homogeneous and continue. As mentioned, the bottle is made of polyethylene. Here I'll enter thickness of the bottle's body equal to 0 0.5 millimeters and OK. I will click on create section again. Select shell homogeneous and continue. Select polyethylene, select the thickness equal to 0 0.65 millimeters and OK. I will click on create section. Continue. The thickness of bottle cap is equal to 1 millimeter and it is made of polyethylene and OK. I will click on assign section, select the bottle cap done. From here select cap section, then select bottom surface from here and OK. Then I'll select part display option, tick on render shell thickness option and OK. Here you can observe the thickness of the bottle cap. As you observe, the thickness grows on outwards. I will click on assign section, select this part, done and select bottom up section, then select bottom surface from here and OK. Here I will select the bottle's body. Done. Select bottle bot section from here. From here select bottom surface and OK. You can observe a uh, thickness of the bottle from here.
as the floor part has been modeled in rigid form, we will not need to define any section for it. Also, no certain section will be allocated to the water part. I will enter assembly module, click on create instance, enter the bottle and water parts into the assembly section. Click on create constraint face to face. First, I'll select this face, then this one. OK. In the next step, I will click on create constraint face to face. Select this face, then this one. OK. Click on Translate Instance, select the bottle, done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. In the next step, I'll click on Create Instance, enter the bottle cap into the assembly section, and OK. I'll click on Create Constraint Parallel Face. First, select this surface then this one and OK. I will click on Translate Instance again, select the bottle cap, done. First select this point, then this one and OK. Again, I will click on Translate Instance, select the bottle cap, done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK in this manner. In the next step, I will click on Create Instance and enter Floor Part into the Assembly section in this manner. I will click on Translate Instance, select Floor Part, done. First, select this point. Then this one and OK. Again, I click on Translate Instance, select the floor part done. I'll enter the first of the translation vector as 000, and the end of that as negative 300, 0, and negative 4 millimeters, and OK. In the next step, I will click on Create Instance and enter Eulerian part into the Assembly section. I will click on Translate Instance, select Eulerian part, done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. I will click on Translate Instance once again, select Eulerian part, done. Enter the start of the translation vector as 0, 0, 0 and the end of that as negative 150, 0, and negative 5 millimeters, and OK. Here you can observe the final assemblage. You should take note that the angle between the bottle and the floor surface is 20 degrees. Actually, the angle you observe here is 20 degrees, and the bottle impacts on the ground at an angle of 20 degrees. The next main point is that the whole bottle on water should be placed in Eulerian part.
Here I will save the model. In the next step, I'll enter step module, click on create step, select dynamic explicit and continue. Time period is equal to 0 0.05 seconds and OK. I'll click on Field Output Manager, Edit, enter the number of outputs equal to 50, and OK. In the next step, I will click on Tools menu, then select Set and Create, name this set RP, and continue. Then I'll select the reference point of floor and Done. I will click on Create History Output, continue, select Set, then RP. Here I will put every end time increment on one. Here I'll select reaction force in Z direction and OK. I will enter interaction module. Here we should define the interaction between water and bottle and the bottle and floor. To do so, I'll click on Create Interaction Property, select Contact and Continue and OK. I will click on Create Interaction here, select General Contact and Continue and OK. In the next step, I'll enter Mesh Module, click on seed part, enter approximate global size equal to 2.2 millimeters and OK. I'll click on assign mesh control, select the whole of bottle cap, done. Here select medial axis and OK. I will click on mesh part and yes. I'll click on assign element type, select the whole of bottle cap, done. Put the element library on explicit and OK. I will click on seed part, enter approximate global size equal to 5 mm and OK. I will click on mesh part and yes. I will click on assign element type, select the whole Eulerian part, done. As you observe here, the element library is on explicit and the element family is on Eulerian. Here we don't need to make any special changes and so I'll click on OK. Here I'll return to part module and create a partition over the bottle. To do so, I will select partition from the tools menu, then select face, then select use shortest path between two points. First, select this point, then this one and click on create partition. I'll do the same for other sections as well.
I will enter mesh module, click on set part, enter approximate global size equal to 5 millimeters, and OK. I'll click on set edge, then select these curvatures. Done. Consider four elements for them and OK. Then I will select those curvatures. Consider the number of two elements and OK. Then I'll select these lines. Consider the number of three elements for them. Then I select these lines. Consider four elements for them. assign mesh control. You can use medial axis for the surface and I'll click on mesh part again. I will click on seed part. I'll enter approximate global size equal to 15 millimeters. OK, click on mesh part. 
and yes. I'll click on assign element type. Here put the element library on explicit and OK. Again, I'll click on assign element type, select the whole of the bottle, done, put the element library on explicit and OK. I'll enter load module. Here we should uh, apply the weight of bottle, its cap and the water in it. To do so, I'll click on create load. Here select gravity, continue. The gravity of Earth is negative 9800 millimeters per squared second. I'll click on this arrow, select the Eulerian part, done, and OK. I will click on create load. Continue, click on this arrow, select the bottle and its cap, done, and enter the gravity of Earth equal to negative 9800 millimeters per squared second and OK. In the next step, I click on create boundary condition here, select displacement rotation and continue. Select reference point of floor, done, close all boundary conditions for it, and OK. In the next step, I'll click on create predefined field. Here we should apply the initial velocity of bottle, its cap and water. Here I'll select velocity and continue. I will select the bottle and its cap, done, and enter the initial velocity directed at Z equal to negative 2444 millimeters per second and OK. I'll click on create predefined field. Here we should apply initial velocity of water continue. Done. The initial velocity in Z direction is negative 2444 millimeters per second and OK. In the next step, we should determine the initial location of the water inside the bottle. To do so, I will click on Tools menu, then select Discrete field then volume fraction tools. Here I will select Eulerian part, then select uh, geometry of water that is marked out by pink color.
and here click on OK. In the next step, I'll click on Create Predefined Field, select Material, Assignment, Continue, select Eulerian Part. From here, select Discrete Field, select Discrete Field 1, and OK. In this manner, the initial location of water inside the Eulerian Part is distinguished. In the next step, I'll enter Job Module. Here, we will not need the water part any longer, so I'll right-click on it, tick on Exclude from Simulation option in this manner. I will enter Job Module, click on Create a Job. Continue here, I'll enter the number of cores equal to 4, OK and click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I'll click on Result. I'll click on Animate. Here you can observe the formation of water flow. Here, the movement of water flow is well predicted by the Abacus software. Even you can observe here that water has started moving into the handle of bottle. After the impact of bottle to the ground, the bottle cap separates from the bottle and flies about outwards.
In the next step, uh, we intend to survey the formation of the bottle and its cap. In the next step, we intend to calculate the quantity of reaction force. I'll click on Create XY Data, ODB, History, Output, and Continue. Here, I'll select Reaction Force for the floor and click on Save As in this manner. As you observe here, this diagram has many vacillations and so we will have to use a filter in order to gain access to smooth diagram. I will click on create XY data for applying a filter on a diagram then operate on XY data and continue. As explained in the article we should use Butterworth filter option in order to apply a filter with a cutoff frequency of 2000. So I will select Butterworth filter then this diagram and as mentioned in the article I should apply cutoff frequency equal to 2000 and click on save as. In this manner the diagram is drawn. Here the vertical axis is actually reaction force directed at Z. In fact it is the force being applied to the floor. The maximum of force is equal to 350 Newton
which here can be observed in this article. And here, this reaction force diagram can be observed in the Abacus software. You should only consider this point that water can flow inside Eulerian part and if water exists from Eulerian part for any reason it would actually be removed from calculating domain. You won't be able to observe the formations of water any longer. Here I will return to step module once again and this time I'll extend the time period for analysis, that is, enter time period equal to 0 0.075 seconds. I will consider the number of outputs equal to 75. Enter job module. Continue. Enter the number of cores equal to four and click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully. So I click on Result.
as it is clearly observed here, if time period increases, the water flows out from the bottle, which can be observed here quite well.